This video will guide you through the field sampling approach of the soil bond foodbed team. When we arrive at the site, the first step is to make the site description. We make an overview photo, mark the center of the site, if it is allowed, record the coordinates and other information to the template. Here is an example of overview photo. There are five sampling points and each site we should sample, positioned as shown on this scheme. At each sampling point we first take soil cores. We select a one square meter area where to take all samples. Usage of soil corer is preferred, otherwise a 5 cm diameter tube can be used. We ensure to sample deep enough and measure 10 cm down from the bottom of the fresh litter layer. Please pay attention to the definition of the fresh litter provided in the protocol. Deeper soil is discarded. After that, we gently transfer litter and remaining soil in a transportation container. Never forget the labels. It is strongly recommended to have the labels both inside and outside the containers. Repeat that procedure so you have two cores from each sampling point, one for wet extraction and one for dry extraction. The next step is to collect litter and excavate soil for macrofauna collection. We place a 25 by 25 cm frame adjacent to the place where we took soil cores and collect litter inside a plastic bag. At this point we take only fresh litter that is not yet fragmented. Here is the same process shown at another site. Above ground plant parts should be removed before or after the litter collection depending on the site specifics. When all fresh litter is collected, we use a spade to excavate soil underneath the litter. We dig on every side of the frame and try not to disturb much the soil inside. Jumping on a spade is not a good strategy. If we encounter large roots, we can use a saw or choose another place. In very rocky soil, sample by volume is possible as a contingency plan. We measure 10 cm from the litter soil interface. In this example, we have a very shallow soil and are able to sample only 8 cm. A spade with 10 cm mark can be used to measure depth. We put the spade underneath and dig out the soil monolith of 25 by 25 by 10 cm size and then gently transfer the soil in another plastic bag so we have two bags from the sampling point with litter and with soil. The next step is hand sorting of macrofauna. We sort fauna from the collected litter by placing small amounts from the bag into a sorting tray. Litter should be carefully inspected and put from one to other side of the tray this way we know what has already been checked. We collect all animals larger than 3 mm in body length, which we can find. Using tweezers or brush, we transfer all accounted animals in a vial with ethanol. If you find earthworms, we transfer them in a separate vial. After all animals are captured, we place the litter back in the plastic bag, put a label on it and transfer it to a laboratory to estimate litter dry mass. Now we collect animals from soil. Again we place small amounts of soil from the bag into a sorting tray and gently break soil aggregates. We check the soil piece by piece and collect all animals larger than 3 mm in the same while as was used for the litter animals. If we find earthworms, it is strongly recommended to wash them in water before placing them in a while. Labels should be never forgotten. At the end, we have two vials from each sampling point, one with earthworms and another with other macrofauna. Don't forget to put the checked soil back and leave the site minimally disturbed. Animal collection can be done at a field station if litter and soil can be safely transported there within a day. The last step is photographing of the top soil profile. This way we will be able to assess soil features on the sides. We excavate soil from near the other samples. 
or directly in the microfauna pit down to a depth of 25 cm. Replace a ruler with centimeter scale and the corresponding label on a wall and make a photograph with a flashlight on. At the end we have site description and photographs and from each sampling point we have two soil cores, a vial with earthworms and a vial with other microfauna, a plastic bag with litter and a photograph of topsoil. If you have any questions, contact us.